Pastor John here. We're starting this new YouTube video series called Five Minute Devotions, and we just want to bless you. I'm going to do one today on theme verses, theme verses that we can carry with us as we go about our life. And maybe you've done it before, you know people who have. I just want to share with you some of mine that I've had throughout my life. Uh, the first one I had is when I was younger. It was Romans 8, 28. As you know, that's a pretty good verse. And we know that in all things, Christ, God works for the good of those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. I held on to that verse for a long, long time because I was going through hard times. Who am I? Why am I here? What's going on? Uh, God, I need to know that you're working. And that verse just kept reminding me he is. He's always working things for good and I can trust him on the journey. Later, when I became a pastor, a, a verse that came to me was Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. It was a verse that reminded me it's, it's no longer about me, it's about Christ. And that happens when I die to self and allow him to live in me with his love. And he transforms me more and more into his image. It was a reminder that Every day I gotta die to self, and every day I can live by faith in Jesus who loved me and gave himself for me. And that's what was needed for me at that time. Then the latest verse that has come to me is Galatians 5, verse 6b. It's where Paul writes, the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Now this is the Apostle Paul, wrote much of the New Testament, wrote about a lot of different things, but he boils it down to this one thing. He says the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself in love. In life, there can be a lot of confusing times. What's going on? What do I do? The world we live in, people are doing things and saying things, and what's tomorrow gonna be like? And Paul just boils it all down. It's, it's faith. It's our eyes on Jesus. It's living, knowing who we are in Him, what, what He's done for us, that we're really just passing through all the things of our faith and what He's done and expressed in love because He's poured that deep love into our hearts and into our lives. He says we were worth it. He says we were to die for. That's what He did. And that He is love. And when He comes and lives inside of us, that's what's going to come out. That's what I always need to keep in mind as I go about my everyday life. It's, it's faith and love. As I go to the grocery store, God, what are you doing? Who can I love in your name while I'm here getting food? Wherever you take me, to know that the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself in love. I don't know if this is the last theme verse I'm gonna have, I believe there's probably more to come as the Lord lays it on my heart of important things that He has for me to know, to do as His Son, as His treasured possession in this world, as I have the opportunity to offer my body as a living sacrifice. Maybe it might be that Romans 12 one. Who knows? But I want to encourage you, if you've never done it, let the Lord speak to you. As you go through scripture, as you read through, and you find a verse that really resonates with your spirit, carry it around as a theme verse. And when you talk to other people, that could be a big part of your testimony. Hey, this is what God's been laying on my heart. This, this verse really means a lot to me. And encourage others with the verse that he's encouraging you with as well. So I pray that today's devotion spoke to you and that you can cling to a verse and carry it in your pocket wherever you go. And it can give you that strength and courage you need for all that you're facing in life and for the hope that is yet to come. So God bless you. We'll see you again soon.